Good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. I'm your host, Khadija. Um, I had to make another video because I just have to address something that happened to me. And um, the more I get into this narcissistic recovery type of stuff and the, um, my own healing, the more I'm starting to see all the, you know, narcissist people that I have been surrounded with. Uh, I don't like to use the word narcissist. I always like to say high conflict. You know, people that, you know, really are, you know, shitty. There's really assholes. But I'm sure you can't put the word asshole in the DSM and, and get any money for it uh, for the therapist. So they have to figure out some other kind of name. I mean, I, I this is the only thing I could think of because <laughs> sometimes it's overused, but the fact of the matter is you will be able to spot this personality and um, or people with these kind of uh, personalities. And I guess what I just come to realize today is I had an aha moment. Um, somebody kicked me off their page. Um... But really, in the first, I, I felt bad because it never happened to me before. And I didn't do anything. But it was an aha moment because I realized the only reason I was staying on the page in the first place is because of my narcissistic damage. And the person that was page it was, you might have heard me mention uh, the person before. I don't really want to do it at this point. But um, I started... Let me just give you a little background. I started watching the page because of um, the person's thorough and constant uh, information that they were talking about with Bobby Christina um, last year when she was going through all that. So that's how I found the page in the first place. Um, what kept me there after the Bobby Christina incident, I had to, I, my aha moment was because I'm so used to being around narcissistic people that I felt comfortable being here when I didn't. Clearly, I was looking at the person's page and I would hear them brag about how, you know, they had a plenty of money and they didn't, they're looking for new houses and they don't really need any money. And um, they were always buying um, wigs and stuff and putting wigs on. And, um, so that was kind of fascinating. I had never seen anything like that. And I don't mean to be disrespectful. I, I really don't. I'm I'm really saying this to make a point. Because it's really amazing to me how this shit is working. Um, but And that was the narcissist part that I was sitting there that I was comfortable with. Because I, I'm like, if this person has two jobs and they're bragging about... Um, you know, how much money they have and they can get houses and they're always ordering. Why in the world are you at the food pantry taking food out of people's mouth and justifying it by saying that it's free? I would think that if you have that much money, I don't care if it's free or not, if there's somebody that needs it more than you. I mean, why are you down there? It just didn't. Now, that's just my opinion. Um, I don't think you would see Donald Trump or somebody standing in the food pantry. And I don't think anybody that's really well off is going to be really just standing down in there uh, taking food from people that really need it. So either you're lying about your situation or um, you're just one of those kind of narcissistic people that that's a hoarder. Um, that you will have stuff and take from someone else. I still want to keep the emphasis on me because these were some of the things I was observing, but I was yet still on the page. Because I, I just want to keep it on my my psychological damage. Um, because a few times that was my thought about the page. And even though we weren't talking about Bobby Christina no more, I could have just easily got off the page. But because I was so uh, used to this narcissistic type of behavior, um, I sat there and listened even more. Um... And I guess the straw that broke the camel's back was um, the person made a comment about... Now, one thing you need to understand, you know, I never disrespect anybody on their page. I always try to follow the...
protocol that they have for their channel just as well as I want somebody to follow the protocol I got for my channel okay and I've done that in fact I talk more to the other subs on the page than I talk to this person because that's what they wanted on their particular page so that's what makes this even more mind-boggling but again I thought about the behavior of the person um, always about them and what they're doing and you know how they're such an entertainer and all this kind of stuff like this you know I have an extensive background in show business but you don't hear me talking about that stuff all the time and you know, what you're gonna do and how I'm this and how I'm that I, I just don't um, my gifts will make room for me I've, I've just always felt that way and um, you know on a, and on a YouTube channel I just don't think that's necessary however I'm going to stick to the program because I've regressed and um, I've digressed so let me go back um, the person said something to the fact that um, God and Allah you know he don't believe you know they like in other words they were different and because I have some knowledge of that I didn't want the person to continue to be ignorant so I tried to explain to him that Allah and, and Allah just means God it's the same thing and I think I made a video um, that was the only thing I've ever addressed that was even um, maybe I just I call it explanation I don't even call it checking or you know reading or whatever correcting maybe I don't know I don't even consider it that I just thought maybe the person was ignorant and I don't want the, nobody to be stupid so I thought I'd give him the information so he'll know that in the future well obviously <laughs> That's what the person thought, um, and the person is always talking about trolls and um, telling you to, you know, who to kick off your page and who this is. So it was very controlling, and I noticed this about the page. Why I was still there, I have no idea other than my narcissistic um, injury that would even keep me there. So it was really funny today because, and I made the video um, I guess I don't know y'all probably tell me one day last week because once I set the video out it's gone I'm done with it so it might have been a comment I made last week or whatever and the fact that they must have seen the video <laughs> I that's the only thing I could think of um, I went to uh, just to scroll down on my um, subscribers list um, people I subscribe to maybe to watch the video and I lo and behold I got to their video and they kicked me off their page so at first I felt some kind of way and I was like when you thumbtack head ass no and then I said no 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 get out of your ego what are you upset about this was a real aha revelation for you why are you even on this person's page and you're not even talking about Bobby Christina and the whole page is very shallow for you anyway you even sitting I'm I mean I'm this is me talking to myself I've even sat there and told myself why am I listening to this shallow craziness somebody walking around talking about you know what a new hair they're gonna have or what um, you know what what I'm doing at my job and what I bought and the people are bringing me gifts what what in the world am I doing here and so the revelation of today is I'm not angry anymore I mean I'm, I, don't, I, I don't know if I should really classify it as being angry in the first place because I don't really know the person like that I was just a little more shocked or taken back because I really was going to try to see what they were talking about today um, and, uh, and I was not I was kicked off but in in hindsight I just want to thank you because I really want to know that you are responsible for one of my breakthrough moments today so I I'm I don't wish no ill feelings on you I'm not angry or anything and you can go ahead in your own little narcissistic um, world um, but you know and I know that um, this was very good for me because it was an aha moment and anytime you can have an aha moment that's better than anything so like I said it wasn't something that I it wasn't that I spent a lot of time 
on this page, even though I mentioned it a couple times on my page, because I, you know, it ain't, it's not like that to me. But I got it. I saw a narc in action. I began to talk about some of these behaviors on my channel that these people exemplify. I um, corrected the person. And everything, I mean, I've been on the person page for a year. I've never had a disagreement. Always been uh, cordial back and forth. All of a sudden, I'm kicked off and that. So I already know the reason. So again, thank you. You helped give me an aha moment. I wish you well. And for all of y'all out there, um, <laughs> thanks for being there. If you like what you hear, uh, please like and subscribe. And stay away from high conflict people. Stay away from them. Because they will reveal themselves in time. Alright, have a good day. Bye-bye.